how to make the perfect cupcake. There is a science behind cupcakes and it's all to do with getting the air in the mixture and getting your cupcakes to come up beautifully fluffy so they taste delightful. Now, the key to this is doing, getting your creaming right. The ingredients we're going to use for making cupcakes are caster sugar. Don't use granulated, it's just too coarse. So you use caster sugar, which is quite fine. And then either butter or margarine. If you use butter, you need to make sure it's out of the fridge for at least two hours beforehand so it comes up to room temperature. If you're making your cupcakes in a mixer, even butter straight out of the fridge, you will be there for half an hour to even get it soft enough to cream properly. Alternatively, use margarine. Um, I always make sure I use one that doesn't have any hydrogenated fats at all. So for a 12 cupcake mix, we're using Modern measurements, 150 grams of caster sugar and 150 grams of butter with three medium eggs. So into the bowl, I've got 150 grams of caster sugar and I'm going to pop in my lovely soft margarine. Now doing it, making your cupcakes with margarine means you can't really fail at creaming it and getting it right. So by doing it by hand will help you remember what it feels like because cooking is all about how it tastes, how it feels, how it smells. If something smells like it's burning, guess what? It's burning. You use your senses the whole time, even if you're not thinking about it. So getting back to how we used to make them at school with a bowl and a wooden spoon. Hold your wooden spoon with the back towards the bowl, with your pressure and your finger right down at the base of the spoon. This will give you more leverage. Press your margarine or your butter into the sugar to get it to mix in properly first. Very, very quickly, it should mix. Now, if you're doing it with this with butter, the colour of the butter will change. It will change from being a very deep yellow to being almost the colour of whipped cream. That is because as you mix in and cream the mixture, you are beating in air. The little granules of sugar break down the butter and they help trap in air bubbles. Now those tiny air bubbles are what will help your cupcakes and give them a lot of lift. Once you've got it mixed in, then really give it a good beat. If you're doing this in the mixer, it will be, it'll take a a bit, little bit longer if you're doing it with butter. It will be incredibly quick if you are mixing margarine and sugar. So don't walk away because the danger there is that you can overcream. If you overcream, your mixture will come up and it'll be very, very mousse like in texture. When you cook them, they will come up and be absolutely dead flat, but once they cool, they will sink and they will taste a little bit like souffles. So if you do do it in a mixer, do not walk away. So there is a trick to find out whether you have creamed it sufficiently or not. Take one spoonful of the mixture and give it a short, sharp tap on the side of the bowl. If the mixture comes straight off the bowl, then you've creamed it sufficiently. If it doesn't, you need to keep going. Just like that, perfect. At that point, stop. Do not mix anymore or you will be in danger of over-creaming.